Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Day Channel, and welcome the year to Let It Die. AD, the Earth Rage Tectonic Disturbance occurred around the world. Is that my camel? Splitting the Earth into four terrestrial masses. That's my camel. <laughs> Domination, war, disaster. And uh, so this is a free-to-play game made by Grasshopper Manufacturer, which is Suda 51, and it was unveiled on the PlayStation Experience the center of the world, two days ago, I think. single tower one. rose steeply into the sky. Oh. It was a great structure looking down upon the Earth from the heavens above. People believed that it held the key to the future. It became known as the Tower of Bard. A place at which one could come closest to God. Okay. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that was Mark Hamill. So. Oh, I have no idea what this game is other than it's a Pseudo 51 game, so it's weird. Like, I don't, I don't even know what type of game it is. It's free to play, so I assume there's got to be some microtransaction somehow in order for them to get money but I don't know Looks like things are about to get busy around here. Oh, you bet. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Select your fighter! Alright, let's go with the dude. Confirm. I'm getting kind of a uh, running man type feel where it's like a... a... a uh, how can I put it? Like a game show? To the death? Type of thing? Like a Smash TV? Like that Dead Rising one as well with zombies and such? So, all right, let's let's figure it out. Senpai, I was waiting for you. Okay. This is your first time riding Line 15, huh? Yes. I know it's not a very well-known line, I admit. Anyway, this is the last stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we got. Are you just gonna follow me? Hey, you're just gonna follow me. Alright. Oh, yeah. Here. Take this. It's called an underwater Rolodex. And it's super important. Okay. I forgot to mention. My name is Uncle Death. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Suda51. Why are you so weird? Okay, uh, I, 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 I guess we'll just go up the stairs then. I was hoping for a bit more explanation as to what the fuck is going on, but... It would appear not. Do 
Ikigara. Hey, Senpai, it's me. This device here, as all the cool kids call it, is a smartphone. Okay. I'll be keeping in touch. Okay. Okay, so we got right hand attack, left hand attack, dodge, jump, interact, move, okay. Please read Bob's Bible in, okay, so. Oh, right, but it's a boss battle. Okay. Uh, still not, still not telling me anything about the game. I mean, it looks slightly RPG because of the, um,. Okay, so that's okay. So yeah, it looks slightly RPG -y. Oh, because of the leveling system. Oh. Let's go. Your first enemy is up ahead. Okay. Oh, fuck me. All right. Go ahead, senpai. There are three levels Ow. of punches. Ow! What the fuck? If your heart rate gets too high, you'll start to get exhausted. So take it easy, buddy. Enemies. Equip dropped items to gain power. You know, the usual process. Oh, okay, so those are my items. Oh, okay, so I've got three items. Oh, per hand, okay. Okay, I get that. I get it. Okay. So it seems like it's a, uh, like a, a role-playing game beat em up, but you kind of, like, you just keep ascending up the tower, I think? So you've got equipment types. Right, left, or both each has a durability, which will decrease each time it's used. Uh, death bags. Okay. Yet. All right. Yeah, you should be able to jump and shimmy up there somehow. Okay, there's nothing up there. So we got regen health. Um, rage moves in this game you can unleash rage remove techniques which are stronger than regular attacks each time you do damage your rage will build until it reaches your maximum holds triangle as you attack okay I think we're gonna have a shitload of enemies come hey, up ahead they look time for some killing <laughs> You can either block or evade enemy attacks. <laughs> 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 You can get fucked. That was pretty sweet. Whew. Uh, put that on. Okay. Okay. I get. I get. I'm starting to get the hang of this now. Still very weird, but it's sued us, so. I wouldn't expect it in the other way. Uh, 
And I'm assuming this is just a tutorial as well, so... You will encounter various mushrooms! Uh, you, when you draw a cluster mushroom you can consume, or you can put it in your bag. Uh, not all are beneficial, some contain poison, but result in death. Cool. Eat mushrooms! <laughs> That's a given. Uh, eat! <laughs> Feeling pretty pumped now, huh? <laughs> okay. It wasn't poisonous. Okay. Six types of air equipment, slashing, blunt, piercing, fire, lightning, and poison. You can hold up to two types of weapon at the same time. Okay. Ooh, an apocalyptic hockey stick. Bag. Mm, what have we got here? Okay. Hi, um, um. Want to give me some of those mushrooms? Throwing mushrooms. You can count both mushrooms and beasts in this game. Let's look at how to throw mushrooms. Choose a mushroom you wish to by flicking the touchpad to select one and click the left side of the touchpad. Okay. Very fucking weird. Gortastic attack. When you make an enemy grubby, that's when you can unleash a Gortastic coup de grace. By unleashing a continuous barrage of attacks, you can make a groggy by approaching an enemy in a groggy state. Press triangle, holding triangle and pressing attack or activate depending on the weapon you use. Let's go with this, shall we? Senpai! Can't wait to see your next battle! <laughs> We're gonna get killed! Okay. That's a bus. Oh, come on. Try again? Oh wait, let me put the title logo up real quick. You know how these things go. Let it die. <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening to this voice guidance system. Let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders of the Tower of Barbs. The Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island of South Tokyo. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance of 2026. The tower stands at 1686 feet 
the equivalent of a 30-story building with super high ceilings. Many say that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. However, none have managed to survive the tower's horrific trials. And thus, the tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb of the tower and experience the many wonders that it has to offer. Okay, so yeah, so just as I thought, it's kind of a a kind of endless RPG type thing where you just keep climbing the tower. Ah, finally waking up. You seem sleepy, so I turned it off. Huh? I'm talking about the Death Drive 128, of course, man. You were just playing it, remember? <laughs> hey, pretty cool, huh? Pretty badass. Wait, what? <laughs> It's the best game console ever, and this game, let it die. It's probably the greatest game ever made. Wait, what? Yeah. Hang on. The goal of the game is pretty simple. Just make it to the top of the Tower of Barbs. It's like a hack and slash, roguelike kind of a thing. What the <laughs> Hey, dude, you're a gamer, aren't you? Then you'll totally be fine. Just try it out. I'll set it up for you. Okay, all ready to go? Let's get started. I'll start the game. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's a game then. Within a game. Maybe. Maybe? Or maybe? I don't know. It's Suda. It's weird. If you, if you haven't played any Suda games, you should try. Um, <laughs> uh, Shadows of Dam's really good. That one's really, really quite enjoyable. Wait, it's, wait, hang on, I... Huh? Okay, so that's... Okay, no, so that, that, that's... It's essentially, that's it, is you just... You create your fighter and you go up to the tower. But then there's, I think there's multiplayer where you can get better loot as well, maybe. I don't know. All right, well, let's 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 have a little look some more. And we'll figure it out as we go. What's, what's this? The waiting room. The hub of your adventure. This is the waiting room of the station. Bottom of the barbs. The last stop. This room contains many inter interesting feature features, including quit game. Okay. So we got something. Toilets. Okay. Cooking mushrooms, you encounter mushrooms in the game, so let's so you can cook mushrooms by grilling them, or you can just throw them in the fire. Uh, and this is the mushroom club. Uh, which is skill decals formed from mushroom power. Attaching decals to the fighter will benefit the player with various effects. Man, oh, she really oh, loves mushrooms. I've been waiting for you, 
fellow believer in the power of mushrooms. Okay. So these are like perks, I guess. Okay. Without mushrooms, there is no glory. There is nothing. There is no love. Nothing makes sense. DH, we teamed up with insurance company Direct Hell to offer a special service to support players. It's called DH Service, and you can access and sign up for it in the options menu. Okay, so that's... So that's where they get the money from, is... This. Uncle Prime. This is a service where Uncle Death will deliver the player presents on his beloved Deathmobile free of charge. It's not just a login, it's Uncle Prime. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Yay, I got a Magnum two-handed weapon. Okay. What else do we have? Shop. Choco Funcha. Blueprints. Okay, so yeah, so it's a roguelike. It's a hack and slash roguelike. That's cool. Welcome. Our express service is all you Is he really rocking the Hitler tower. stash? Bring me the materials and blueprints, and I'll make anything. However, I'll be needing some of your things in return. I use that energy to make the goods. Get it? Got it. Okay, so hang on. So what we so that's the map. And what have we got here? Storage chest, capable of carries and death bag. Okay. And then we got the Rewards box. Okay, so I think we actually got some rewards. I have no idea what any of them are. Okay, getting there, so hang on, so how do we equip stuff? Death bag. Okay, well how about we progress a little bit up, and we'll see where that takes us. It's, it's odd, it's a very odd game, but I can kind of see the appeal of it. I do I do enjoy a good roguelike. Uh, as long as it's not very heavily weighted on micro uh, microtransactions. It should be honestly, if it's if it's decent amount if it's a decent enough game, then what's the charm in what's the harm in putting, you know, 10 or 20 dollars in, you know, and help the developers out. Not that Suda51 needs helping out, that's to say, but... But I'm guessing each floor, each area, has got a set of rooms. The, the, the locks may be a bit overkill. Root four of them. Oh, creepy. Look, there you are from before. The old you is nothing but a raging maniac now. Ah. You have to kill him before he kills you. <laughs> Huh. 
Okay. If you'd fight an exhaust for HP in the game, they'll die and be resurrected as an enemy. When a fighter dies, they'll transform into an enemy roaming about on the floor on which they met the demise. Such fighters are called haters. If you assume control of a new fighter and defeat the hater, they will be retrieved and stored in the fighter freezer. If you let them be and they defeat another player, the rewards will be sent to your rewards box. Ah. All enemies with names displayed in orange are haters. They might be one of your haters or a hater that was once a different player. In either case, it's very far stronger. Watch out for them. Okay. So, it might be that you only get a certain amount of players. Maybe. So, you got to make sure you kill the haters, but then you get bonuses if you leave them and other people kill them. If I'm reading that correctly. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. Beasts, there are a great variety of d uh, creatures. Besides, not all of them are docile, some will attack you, others will emit poison. It is important for the player to make use of these beasts in order to survive. By pressing L3, you can crouch, and when you approach, capture beast. Okay. Come here, little boy. Gotcha! Uh, DIY, it's head armor. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> mastery level. If you defeat lots of enemies with a specific type of weapon, your mastery level goes up. The maximum level is 20, and you'll unlock sudden moves. Okay. I and mean, then you can get ability points. You know what? I actually think I like this game. There's always one stamp station on each level of the Tower of Barbs. You can stamp each one once into the stamp station. It's possible to climb a tower without stamping, but you receive some rewards if you do. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Sound good at all. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, my God. 
Fuck you! Bag. All right. Oh. Fuck you. Crush room. Uh, let's just leave that, shall we? I, I'm, I'm starting to like this. Actually, it's quite a good feel to it. Down, shall we? Oops. Huh, okay. Did not know you could do that. All right. Now we're talking two one-handed hammers. So I'm assuming you'd get to a point where it'll be a new level. Nice and easy. Uh, let's keep exploring. Ooh, what's this? Tower bars which not only escalators but elevators, including the DH Express Royal. There's also a system of rare sub elevators that only run between certain floors. Okay, so let's just turn it on. And sometimes you can ride. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. And then that seems to be the end of that. Cool, okay, well I think I'll leave that bit there, because that was part discovery and part awesome, really. So it seems, oh okay, and it shows you, oh that's cool, that's really cool. So I wonder how many floors there are. Oh actually, oh cool, it shows you a log of everything that you've done. Well, we'll leave it there. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to see some more, let it die. Please let me know in the comments. If you want to see some more Game Jam material, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jam, signing out.